The Black Horse Courier interrupts this program to bring you a special report. Vigilant Templar Edward Godwin is cracking down on Daedra worship, investigating a possible Nemiran cannibal cult in Markarth. Thank you for your attention. We will bring you back to your regular scheduled programming. I'll take the room near the back. with Beric Urso and uh, some things have transpired. We got to see Beric going through some type of transformation and then he injected some formula into his arm. I will fill in the blank. He did not shift. He did not change. This is something that's keeping the changes at bay. So, uh, more mystery, but Beric, when he goes through, or his body's wanting to shift and change, um, it's very traumatic, it's very intense on him physically, but also psychologically, so, um, there is no urgency on his end to get to Labyrinthian, so, one thing, a the there's a lot of so talking going on. Let me get to the trader. One thing Barrett finds incredibly Got relaxing just about everybody in is Give a holler hunting. Questions. And so he's going to spend about three days, two or three days in Whiterun, just in from camping um, and just clearing his head. He has gotten no Please sleep. We're around. at forty-three sure percent exhaustion. So everything's for that. sale, my friend. We also everything. Can if I had a sister, I'd sell her in a second. Great. We also can improve his armor and weapons and stuff while we're here too. So let's see if we have anything to sell. Ah, loose neck. Gate gator. Is that how you say that? So I hope everyone's doing really good. I'm excited to be here with uh, Barrick. Right, it looks like we don't have much. Do come back. Um, we do need to get a roll, a sleeping bag, basically, for our for our character, especially if he's not going to be sleep doing a lot of sleeping in the cities. So let's get some water, though. Can we? I can't remember if. Yeah, okay, good. Good. And we need more water skins, too. So we're gonna do some hunting here. If we can pick up a bounty, we will. Uh, let's see. Hunt fugitive? No. Hunt thief? Kill the bandit leader? It's sure, why not? Um, we'll just do that one for now. So we're gonna shut off the other ones. I think also if I don't do some of those quests uh, in a prompt manner, manner within a couple days, they'll they'll end up clearing from my uh, as as failed in my inventory, which is fine. And we have a good amount of money, I think. Yeah, so we can buy some stuff. We're not above that. So let's improve this. So we need two steel and some orc ingot. Ingot, I mean. I don't claim to be the best blacksmith in Whiterun. Yorland Greymane's got that honor. All right. Hmm. Good Blades, for you. helmets, pretty much anything to suit So do you have needs. steel? Yes. 
we cannot improve our bow yet. We should get some firewood though. Check um, no, I think we can collect Shop. firewood. Let's see. Yeah, we can do harvest wood. In fact, I need to kind of hotkey some of this stuff. Um, let's see. Did I hotkey it? Harvest firewood? Yeah. Okay. The bad thing too right now is we can't upgrade any of our skills uh, until we are able to rest. We have not been able to rest, so um, we're not doing any leveling up till then. All right, I'm taking a good sip of Java right now. Here we go. I try not to slurp or make any noises in the mic that would make people uncomfortable. I will drink my coffee off my... I'm really excited to just do some hunting with this character. Get out of here into the tundra. Skyrim. Let's see if we can jump over this. Shoot. Yeah, there we go. Alright, and then, like I said, we need the leathers to build a tent. And uh, while we're out here, we're gonna farm ingredients. Oh, yeah, and then I, I also used Oculatus Recital. To, uh, oh crap. All right, let's get our boar out. Got him. This is great. This is what we needed. Oh, you know what? I think I have my difficulty. Nope, still on legendary. Okay. Come on. Cool. Who else? Um, another thing. We... Yeah, we're exhausted. No werewolf here. Just to show you. So, just something to consider. Frost resistance warrant. Oh, wow. I didn't know I had that. That's cool. Alright. So, let's... Find some leathers. Okay, we are hungry. All right, let's get some food and water. I really enjoy just the survival aspect of Skyrim. I really just find it enjoyable. Come on. Ruin pelt. And we'll take the ingredients too. Um, Barrick knows how to do alchemy. Uh, better than most, but he's not a master at it by any means. All right. So I'll probably do a uh, jump cut because I'm just going to be uh, getting all the uh, ingredients off these animals. So I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so this is the last one. Beric has worked into the night, uh, tan uh, gaining all the uh, leathers and uh, ingredients off of these wolves. So uh, he is exhausted. I'm not even. Let's check out his needs right now. It's in bad shape. Yes, 73% exhaustion, which gets us. So we're cold. We are tired. 25% slower magic skills increase. Yeah, we have food poisoning. Wonderful. Whoa. Who's coming at me? You'd hunt that rhino. Or whatever that thing is. Alright. So, Alright, we're gonna see if we can make a bed roll. And, um... Take a, uh... Big nap. We'll do it outside of the city, though. Maybe. I thought that was a vampire. I have a mod that allows more vampire attacks. And then also there's civilians that will blend in as vampires. And we are 
crazy tired. How much weight? Oh, we have plenty of room on it in our inventory thus far. Okay, let's get in here. Get the tanning rack. We just need one leather. And then we can create a bedroll. Alright, another drink of coffee. I'm glad you guys are all enjoying the series. I am as well. Uh, we do have a torch too. I need to remember to use it. just bought one off of her. It's fine. We'll go, uh... Spare a coin for a poor old beggar. I imagine Barrett is pretty grumpy right now. So he's not gonna give... Oh, and it's begun to rain. That's just... That's rich. It's wonderful. So Barrett is gonna go out and uh, keep... He's gonna continue to hunt. Why? What is the reason Beric isn't a proficient hunter and knows how to gain uh, the perfect leather pelts off of animals? In my mind, he's he's just not done this stuff in a long time. He's been fighting with other mercenaries and make sure this isn't too loud. this down just a little bit so he's just out of practice but he's had plenty plenty of time that at him gaining uh, experience with athletics uh, he's not running faster or jumping higher right now um, but that will come into play later on in his story Okay. Oh, I love the sound of the thunder. Maybe we can get a deer. We will take the venison off of it if we can. So I, when I'm playing Skyrim, I'm not playing for optimization, right? It's like I could sleep right now and get the the, the uh, debuff taken away, but it's not what I'm looking for. You no, know, I'm really wanting to immerse myself in a story. And uh, just enjoy the hardships of what Beric is going through. All right, let's Got it. Perfect. Beautiful. Okay. There's two. Two for one. Come on. Uh, that giant's all pissed off. We need to get that fox. Oh, is he chasing that fox? Oh, it looks like it. Okay, let's pick up the fox belt. Ooh, and there's another an elk or a uh, that a reindeer. Look out! I don't know. Let's get this. Oh, there it is. It's right there. Let's see if we can get it. Oh, I missed it. I must be shooting right over its head. Can't really see it that well enough. Seriously? Oh, frick. I don't even know if I'm getting stamina regeneration at this point. Yeah, I didn't get a sneak, sneak shot on that. All right, let's just see if we can take this dude out with the good old fashioned sword. Some destruction. We need the food. Where is he? Oh! <laughs> he literally ran to me. That's great. Beric would be grateful for uh, 
him being blessed with this. Uh, oh shoot! What is happening? You know what? Let's level up our uh, geomancy. In the pelt. Come on. No. Okay, we got the fox. Alright. And then let's drop the fox. Alright. Hopefully we'll gain something from this. So is it already morning? Yeah. So he hasn't slept in two days. It's brutal. I don't think that Barrack would eat a fox. Fox meat. So we're not going to, to even harvest the meat from it. But here's something that we can do. Is once we get back to White Run, we can buy a, uh, yeah, we're at 87% exhaustion. We can buy a leather from there, which is fine. I'd prefer to create, you know, my own, um, equipment. Oh, oh. I have no idea what's going on. Let's get our boar out. Oh, a spider. Okay. Oh, did you kill it? Alright, let's go get, um... Ooh, that scared me. That's the thing. Let's go get... The, uh... Poisons. Off of, uh... Oh, another. Let's see if we can hit it. Skyrim ends up becoming like a hunting simulator. Got him. Hey, maybe we will get a uh, pelt off of this. If anything, we are leveling his skills up. I love, love, love Hunterborn. I know it's very cumbersome, but I just enjoy it. I've always had it in uh, my load order. Still nothing. I think we can make a night eye um, potion, so we don't have to be constantly using our torch if we go into caves. Okay. All right. Let's get back in the city. Let's see if we can jump over here. There we go. Oh, all right. Hopefully the smith is open. Good day. Yeah, I have uh, food poisoning. I wonder if a cure disease will use that. We'll cure that. I try not to uh, cure cure myself at um, the shrines. I don't know why. I just find it cheap. And no offense to anyone that would do that either. It's just play Skyrim the way you want to, right? So we'll buy. I don't it. claim to be the best blacksmith in White Run. Your hmm, blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. And like I said, we're not a werewolf, so we we uh, can get uh, diseases. If I'm not careful. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. All right, let's see if we can buy, make a bed roll. Yes, we can. All right, blue, green, gray, red. Let's do gray. Awesome. Okay, and then we'll start turning all this into leathers to do what with? I don't know. Oh, wait, we can make some more. Yes. Perfect. And I think we can upgrade our sword. So our sword right now does what damage? 
38 damage, which is really high. This is a really good sword, though. And, uh... Derek travels. He probably gained it uh, off of a dead body. Someone he killed, or... Um... It was a reward. I work for Bella. He's been all over the world. Okay, well, we can sleep now. Um, let's cut some wood so we can make a fire. I don't want to do alchemy right now because... Well, Ooh, I got to get there before this guy. I don't want to do alchemy right now because we're not going to get any experience from it because he is a debuff. A lot of debuffs right now, so we'll, we'll hold off on that. But we do need some health potions. Alright. It would be cool if we got some some type of experience for uh, cutting wood, but it is what it is. And I am cutting wood so we can make a fire. A, a good, good roaring fire. So I always try to Come by Bella play shop. characters uh, by strict rule sets and focus on what they would do uh, from a point of view of their abilities. And so if I get used to playing a character that does alchemy, well, I'm used to playing uh, picking ingredients. And so if I end up playing a character that doesn't do that, it's just hard to transition. Oh, did it stop raining? Okay, let's pull out the torch. I think the torch will give us a buff. Let's see. Frost resistance. I wonder if this is from the torch. Um, yeah, maybe it is. I don't know. Cold and warm. Okay. Oh, I'm really excited to just set up camp, set a bed roll down. I know it's noon, but not to Barrick. Barrick is, actually, we're not cold at all. We have to be careful with the torches too. They can burn out. We have four torches. By the way, I'm gonna be working on my mod list today, and hopefully I'll have that in the description of the f first and the second video. I'll, I'll put those in after the fact, so. Love it. Skyrim's looking beautiful. So to me too, the story is just about his day-to-day -day living, right? There's a bigger overarching story going on. But right now he's just he is trying to survive. He's trying to live. Right? We can all relate to that. So let's build a campfire. Build a campfire. Favorite it. I also set up hotkeys, not hotkeys, but sectioned everything off. So like conjure bore, stone spray. He's gonna get more spells in the future, but we're keeping it very kind of bare bones. All right, so this is the first fire he's ever made. No, he's, this is the first fire that he's made, we've done with this character or this playthrough. Then we'll use, I guess, Tundra Cotton. All right, let's build it. And this is gonna open up some skills for us. I think there's two perk trees in here. There we go. Oh yeah. See, just like the little things, just us being able to sleep, um, have a bed roll, Let's make some venison, of course. Okay, let's set up the bedroll. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay. Place here. Um, and then let's check out the skills. See if we have any before we go take a rest. No, we do not. And then I think we have some though for sun health. Let's see. 
We do. Carry capacity increased by 50 points. Yes, please. And I think that's it. Yep. All right. Let's take a snooze. Let's do five hours, see what that puts us at. We can now sleep whenever we want, so we don't have to be at 100%. All right. Um, I think we're going to go the health route. Some stamina would be nice. We just, we just went across the board. All right, and then let's just kind of look at... I'm going to do some alchemy. Because that will come in handy. Um, there's our athletics tree that we don't have access to. We'll do some sneak. That'll help with hunting and everything else. Do I want to do light armor? You know what? I think we're going to do destruction. Because he's going to do... This is... Right now, he's not using a ton of magic. But he's going to be a very ma magic-based type of character in the future. So is that it? Do I have any more perks? Nope. Okay. All right. So I guess the food poisoning, we need a cure. Um, yeah, we're still really tired, but not as tired. So we're going to take down our fire. Let's see. Let's check our debuff. So we're hungry, thirsty. All right. So let's eat the venison we made. I am, I am feeling satisfied. Okay, and we'll drink the water. My thirst is quenched. Great. Oh, it says we're still kind of hungry. So does it say four percent? Okay, it's much better. Should uh, do you have a preference for um, it being in first person or third person when you're playing? I like. I think I like, uh, it depends. If when I'm running around, I like to have it in third person. And then if I'm doing anything where I have to be a little bit more surgical, more per precision, um, I will uh, throw it in first person. But I will always try to do as much as I can in first. So we're gonna collect as many ingredients as we can. I've been looking for you. Oh. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Let's see here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Okay. I'm gonna look at that later. We need to do that bounty. Which is over there. But we'll make sure that we're fully rested up and everything before we actually go put ourselves in harm's way. Um, I'm just collecting these ingredients. Yes, Barrick would do this. Um... You know, some some of these, uh, I, I try not to die um, too often. You know, I don't want to just abuse that mechanic. And I do want to make it seem like for Barrick that you know, if he dies, that's it for him. Obviously, we can save and reload. But I want him to, I want to feel as a player some apprehension. So before he goes to do a contract, he wants to be as ready as he can, so. Let's run. I do a lot of walking too, uh, in the game. Try not to just run and hustle everywhere. But we're also putting on a show, so we need, we need to get place to place. You? What are you? Please, take Mother Mara's blessing to wash this unease away. What are you talking about? Mother guides me to those flickering souls who are yet to cast themselves on the fire for tomorrow's utopia. She sees in you potential, potential which can avert calamity. I, her most devoted servant, need you to believe in the goodness of your heart, in love. 
Stop with this incessant rambling and get to the point. Forgive her beloved child of entropy. For all her conviction, she only looks up, blind to those below the clouds which she wishes to ascend. There is a terror, a terror of minds and ideas forming in the West. A congliage of antipathy and repressed hatred is nearing its sum. If this horror transpires, then neither the restraints of distance nor time will thwart the canker that will be birthed there. I make this plea to you, special child. Meditate between the opposites and seek resolution in the chaos. I will help whenever I can, but my light is weak. However, even the faintest flame can act as a beacon against the background of deep night. That flame will appear to you in a maze of dark when you most need it. Mara, what is this? There is nothing to decipher. Just take heed of these words. Go west and see. Open those eyes and see that which belies its splendor. Beset by men, gods, kings, and ideas, keep a clear eye. Keep your head above water when you reach that realm. The tides of want can drown any who venture too far from the shore. What should I do then? You're still speaking in riddles. Huh? Sorry. Ugh, my head. Sorry, I can't really do Barrack's voice, but I can try. What on, man? What spell did you cast on her? I know, I know such, I know, I now know such spells. Whatever it was had affected me as well. Yes, yes, I saw. You were mumbling to yourself, almost word for word that of Jayana. It, forgive me, our travels have put me in a hastened mood. Your priestess had Mara speaking through her, told me about a place in the West. I didn't know madness could be contracted. Is this a jest you're both in on? Do I look like I'm jesting? Tell me of this place to the west. No. It looks like you're serious, which worries me a lot more. The closest I can come to answering your visions is that we had just hailed from Evermore, which may be that west you want. If you're dead set on taking voyage there, then a merchant who has a route between that hinterland kingdom and Skyrim should be resting at Markarth. Word of warning, if you care to listen. The Reach isn't a place you want to risk your neck just on the visions of a zealous priestess. Okay, alright, let's talk to her. Doing well? What did you mean in that if rambling? If only I could tell you. My mind was beholden to something truly divine, so much that I can't recall aught that I uttered. However, I have an image of the Reach from that possession. Oh... An incredibly irksome feeling. Maybe you can seek out an answer by following the roads westward. Maybe the same merchant who carried us through that web of valleys can impart the same privilege unto you. Seek him out near Markarth, if you will. Okay. Good um, fortunes on your trip. I'm surprised. Barrick's surprised. Um, yeah, we'll have to seek out the merchant. Good fortunes Obviously, on your we travels. have bigger fish to fry are things that we're focusing on, but that's uh, something we'll have to look into. So hopefully we can find a cure disease for our upset tummy. Let me know if there's anything you like. Okay. Man. Cure disease. Do you have How one? How do you feel? Ah, feel so good. you're an alchemist then. Okay, let's see. Cure disease. Do you have a? She does. We'll take two of them. Come. Okay, let's see if. Like any time takes if care you need of a remedy. Tummy problem. Yes. Awesome. All right. So we're in a good spot right now, and let's try a little bit of everything. I should have probably saved the salt, but. Right now, we need to be figuring out all the alchemical abilities or effects. Or hey, there's.
with that night eye. All right, let's start mixing it up. Awesome. Drains targets health for six points per 10 seconds. Damage target, yeah, that's a very powerful poison. I offer remedies for that's ailments great. both common and rare. Do let me know if I can be of service. Right, yes, stamina. And let's just start seeing what we can make. And then we can always sell what we don't need. Just doing a little ex experimenting. Oh, all right. Let's... All right, perfect. We're just trying to clear our inventory. Let's go through it. Ah, one-handed. Definitely need that. Beautiful. All right, we'll call that good. Go over to her. You look. Take a look. Do I? How do I look? Handsome. Okay, let's sell the conjuration. We don't need that. It might be useful, but these are going to be great for our hunts. Uh, against everything. All right, I think that's it. Until next time. All right. Okay. Well, I think on the next episode we're gonna go do the bounty, but we will call this it. Uh, Beric, thanks you for watching, and uh, we will see you in the next episode very, very soon. Have a great day or night.